Want to add more value to your Twitch subs and your Discord community? I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, before we get started, my name is Chase and I make streamer support videos. I also stream on twitch.tv slash chasebeyond. Feel free to hit me up with any questions you may have about streaming, whether I'm live or in my DMs or in the comments below, and I will do my best to give you a solution. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Twitch with Discord, offering additional subscriber benefits to your Twitch subscribers through your companion Discord community. On a side note, creating a Discord community as a place to keep the conversation going after the stream ends was one of the best decisions I've made as a content creator. I recommend every streamer, whether affiliate, partner, or otherwise, to have one. So go get you a Discord. Also, if you're interested, I've posted a link to my Discord community. Feel free to hop on in there and see what's going on. We have a streamer support channel within that you can ask any question you have about streaming and there will be someone there to answer your questions. So why would we integrate Twitch to our Discord? Well, it provides an excellent way to recognize and reward your paying subscribers outside of just Twitch. Therefore, also creating more incentive for your growing subscriber base. So essentially doing so will give your subs custom roles and Twitch sub emotes in your Discord community. Okay, so let's get to the how to's. So first, before we do anything else, what we need to do is we need to make sure that our Discord and our Twitch accounts are connected. So we go into Discord and we click on the user settings cogwheel in the bottom left. Click on that. It's gonna take you to uh, your account. Then you wanna go to connections so click on connections and then uh, from there what you want to do is you want to click on twitch make sure you click on twitch there then from there you'll go through the connection process it's pretty simple self-explanatory tells you what you need to do i've already done that so i'm not going to be doing that a second time uh and then once you do that you go down here to see your little box here for twitch it says your twitch name there and you can choose whether or not to display it on your profile so you'll see the sub enabled servers here. Uh, these are servers that you're sub to on Twitch that um, you can essentially join through this menu. So if you didn't know that they have a Discord community or you didn't know they had sub features through Twitch integrated with Discord, you can actually join these servers uh, by just clicking the join button. Okay, so for this next step, what we want to do is actually integrate Twitch and Discord together. So uh, what we want to do is we want to go down to our Discord server that we want to do this with and click on the top drop down menu. From there, go to server settings. And then from there, go to integrations. And from integrations, you'll see a Twitch box there. Click on the Twitch box and then hit enable. And you want to make sure you do this after connecting your Twitch account to your Discord account. Okay, so now you've officially linked your Twitch account to your Discord server. Now, a couple things here on this box. You'll see under synced role, it says Twitch subscriber. That is the name of your current role for your subscribers. And we'll go over how to change that later if you want to do so. Uh, next to that, you've got synced subs. Now, synced subs, what that is, is it tells you how many users in your Discord community are Twitch subscribers and how many of those have linked their accounts to their Twitch accounts and are also in your server. So uh, this one just says one because I'm on a test server right now and it doesn't actually show the ones in my real server uh, unless I'm on my actual other server. Uh, and then it says last synced uh, yesterday at 11.59. So basically what this does is every hour, the Discord server will automatically link your subs or sync your subs, sorry. It'll sync your subs. If you don't wanna wait an hour, what you can do is you can manually click sync and then boom, they're synced. So you don't have to wait an hour for it to refresh for your new subs you just got that are wanting to be in the Discord and have the benefits of being a Twitch sub and on the Discord. Now, from here, 
Uh, you've got expired sub behavior. Now what this drop down does, you can either choose remove roll or kick. Now remove roll is if their sub uh, runs out, then they will no longer have that sub roll in the discord until they resub. Otherwise, uh, you have the option to kick them when their sub runs out. Now for that, that would be a, I would recommend that only for a discord server that was for subs only. Otherwise, you don't want to lose your members to your Discord just because they drop their sub. Now, grace period. Now, what grace period is, is essentially how long after they've their sub has run out, if, they, if their sub runs out on Twitch, how long after that moment until they no longer have their Twitch subscriber role and benefits in the Discord. So it gives them a little grace period uh, for how long before they have to resubscribe to keep that going. And now this last one here, the one that says allow synced subscribers to use your Twitch custom emoticons in Discord. You click on that and that makes it to where if your subscribers have access to sub emotes, which if you have sub emotes on Twitch, they should have access to those. This will allow your sub emotes to be used on Discord. So it gives them an additional place to use those sub emotes that they pay for or that they were gifted with a gift sub. And if you ever want to disable this integration for whatever reason, there's a button right there to do it. You just click on that and then it turns that off. Also, it should be stated, although it may be obvious, you have to be an affiliate or a partner Twitch streamer to have this integration. Otherwise, you don't have emotes and you don't have subscribers yet. So. Now that you've got that set up, you can access your roles for Twitch subscribers through uh, either you go to the synced role, click on Twitch subscriber or whatever it says there, or you can go to your roles page. They lead to the same exact place. Now from here, you'll see multiple roles. You have Twitch subscriber, you have Twitch subscriber tier one, Twitch subscriber tier two, Twitch subscriber th tier three. Now. These will all display under a person's name based on what they are. So it'll be Twitch subscriber and then whatever tier they are as well. You can adjust these roles and rename them whatever you want. And also you can choose specific colors for them so that they will show up in different colors on the roles page. And of course you can change the display order for the subscribers or any other roles you have in here by just grabbing them and dragging them. The higher you place them on this list, the higher they will be placed on the right side of the screen in your Discord server. Now, the great thing about the integration is that you do not need to add anybody as subscriber and you don't have to remove anybody's roles as subscriber. It works automatically according to the parameters you set in the integration menu. Okay, so now let's test it out. So, uh, as you'll see in your channel, if you go up to the right side where it shows you, it'll show that you have the color of your subscriber role. And it also says Twitch subscriber, Twitch subscriber tier three. You'll always be a Twitch subscriber tier three to your own channel. It's just automatic so that you have access to all your emotes and such. And then you go down here to your emotes and then you go to your current server. And here's all the emotes that you get access to according to your Twitch channel and integrated with your Discord server. Also, keep in mind that bit tier emotes as of the upload date of this video are not available on the Discord Twitch integration for some reason, but uh, I could see in the future it being a future feature. So that's it. One easy way to add more value to being a sub to your channel. Now, if you're looking for additional ways to soup up your Discord server, Feel free to check out my other video I posted recently. I put a link to that in the description box below and at the end of the video to how to add emoji to your Discord server, your own custom emoji. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got everything that you needed from it. Of course, if you'd like to, feel free to like, subscribe, and tick that bell to know when I post my next video. And of course, have a wonderful day, and I will catch you on the next one. Oh shoot, did I just one shot him? No, oh, fudge! No, 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 no! Oh wait, I'm alive! I'm alive, dang it! Oh, I'm d oh fudge. I screwed that up, didn't I? Meep!
Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, try again, try again, try again, try again. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I made it. Wow, that was... 